that happened first time you ever messaged me on Twitter, um, back when they started recruiting me. And ever since then, I was able to be brutally honest with him. And that's all he wanted from me, and that's what I wanted from him. And he couldn't ask for anything more than that when a coach is dead honest with you. So um, that's really when it started. Well, speaking about that brutal honesty, what did he think about that last interception you threw? <laughs> yeah, well, I know, I know he, he was mad about it, but the man that was really mad about it was Coach Warner. Uh, and I did get chewed out, definitely. Uh, he had actually hung up the phone on me, and then he called back. He was like, all right, I'm calm now, but what are you doing? And then I just got to make sure I take care of the ball. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Um, playing football, you can't turn the ball over. Chad, Coach Freak said it looked like uh, at a point in the game you kind of started pressing, like you were playing yeah, tighter a little sure. bit. Uh, what what yeah. was the transition there? What led to that? I, I was – I was just trying too hard. I mean, trying to throw the ball down the field when you're up 23 to three really is no point in doing that. Um, you just got to control the game, understand the situation, and control the ball. And you can't turn the ball over. Simple as that. When did you start pressing in the game? At what point? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, you always trying to. At least for me, I'm always trying to trying to. I like the big play. I really do. And we have the athletes outside to do it, and the linemen to block for the big play. So. Um, I mean, there's really no no point in the game that really I felt like I was pressing. Really, just after the game, I was like, man, I was, I was just trying a little too hard to do too much when we're already ahead of the game. So You said you come off the field after mistakes, and you know exactly yeah. what the mistake was. Are you sure. more frustrated with yourself than they do with you in those scenarios? Um, I think, I mean, you get upset at yourself for knowing that you, you know what you did mm -hmm. and you know what, what mistakes you made. But... And coming off the field and knowing that they, they know I made a mistake and I know that I made a mistake, that's when both of us can come together and, and work even better to know, hey, how can we fix this? How can we change not putting ourselves in this type of situation? And just taking what the defense gives you. Simple when you like that. the big play, Chad, uh, is the interception occasionally something you just live with, or are you still trying to get a turnover-free game? Yeah, um, I mean, you definitely you don't want to turn the ball over. You have to have every drive end in a kick, either it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. I mean, um, I mean you, of course, you're going to take your shots during the game. you got to. But... At the same time, you have to control the game and know you're the leader of the whole whole game, and you have to protect the ball at all will. It seemed like for one of the first times you guys could run the ball pretty effectively. Oh, yeah. How, yeah. how good was that to see what kind of yeah. change? Was it uh, all just Laramie? Or? I mean, watching from the film, I mean, all those guys up front did a great job. We rotated a good amount of guys. The running backs ran really hard. And I just think uh, the guys were just so intense and ready to play from the, from the first snap to the end We and knew it. They had a great D line. We knew what we were in for, and we had to bring everything we had to this game, and, and it showed. And those guys did a great job. Auburn's uh, defense has obviously been struggling this season. Uh, what are some things that you're seeing that you might be able to, to do against against them? Yeah, um, they got some great great athletes. Um, they recruit well. They got good coaching, and we just have to execute. It comes down to.